Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use PHP includes on your site. So to get started we're just going to open up Dreamweaver and we're going to be creating three separate PHP files. So we're going to be creating a new PHP file and I'm just going to go file new and create another one and do that one more time. Alright, so now we have three different PHP files uh, open. So now I'm just going to take and save these. So I'm just going to go to File and Save As on the first one, and we'll just call that one a header. And I already have these made, so I'm just going to save over them. And we're just going to go to the next one and Save As, and I'm just going to call it Test File and save it. And for the third one, I'm just going to go to File, Save As, and call it just Test File 2, just so that we can keep the name simple. So basically what PHP includes do is on our header file, we're basically going to create um, the header or like say a menu um, that we want to appear on all of our other pages. And instead of actually creating the menu and then just copying and pasting um, the same code on each of the pages, we're just going to create it in one file and then include it in on each of these other files. So that will allow us to change the first file and change all of the other files at one time. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better once we get started. So we're going to be starting with the header.php file. So I'm just going to delete out all the default code. And I'm just going to make a div tag. So just say div um, and then a closing div tag. Okay. And so I'm just going to hit enter a couple times. And we're just going to be making a really simple menu. Um, normally you'd put it in a list, but I'm just going to um, just put it out as text just to keep it simple. So I'm just typing home and then about and then products and then we'll just say other stuff alright so there's our incredibly simple menu um, so I'm just going to take and save that and so now we just need to go to test file.php alright so what we're gonna do here is just go into our body so we're gonna leave the rest of the code on this one and inside of the body I'm just going to do an h1 tag so an open bracket h1 close bracket open bracket and then just hit the slash and it should finish it off and I'm just going to say test page one that way we are able to tell which page we're on and so then after that we're actually going to use the include so we're going to type in our PHP by having an opening bracket a question mark then PHP then space and then for the include it's going to be include underscore once. Now there's also um, an include that doesn't use the underscore once um, for if you're using more than one, uh, like using it more than one time on the page, um, but we're just going to be using it once, so I'm just going to have the underscore once. So then space, two quotes, semicolon, space, question mark, closing bracket. Now inside of the quotes you need to have the path to the file that you want to include, and since we're going to be using the header, I'm just going to say header.php. Now make sure that you have this path correct. Um, if it's inside of something called includes or if it's inside of something um, called scripts, make sure that you have like scripts slash header. But for mine, it's just going to be in the same folder, so we don't need to change that. So now basically all we need to do is I'm just going to take and copy this onto the other page. So test file two in the body, I'm just going to paste all that stuff that we just created. And I'm going to change our header so that it says test page two and save that. So now we have basically header which includes all of our menu. We have test file one which has its own little thing that says test page one and then it has the include of our menu and then test page two which just has a different title. So now what I'm going to do is pull up Firefox and I've been saving these into a file called includes so I'm just going to upload that to my site so you guys can see what's going down. Alright, so now I'm on my site, and I'm just going to hit um, River City Graphics slash includes, and we called it test uh, file.php, so I'm just going to hit enter, and now you can see that we have test page one, and we have our header has been brought in from that external file, and so now we can just say test file two, and test that, and the exact same thing has been pulled onto that page. So, you might be asking yourself, well, what's the benefit of doing that? Why couldn't I just take and copy this div tag onto these pages. Um, you could, but the problem is, say that we had um, more than two pages, say we had like 200 pages, and we wanted to make a change to this menu. Um, we would have to change it on every single page, but here, we just take, go after other stuff, and say we just want last page. It's a 
very original title there. So now if we do that and we take and go back to Firefox, we'll just re-upload everything. Technically you only need to re-upload the header, but it's just easier to grab the folder. And now if we refresh it, you can see that it's updated on this page. And if we go to test file 2, it's also going to have updated updated it on that page as well. So you can see that we can easily take and create really dynamic content by just using the includes. Um, keep in mind that if you want to test these, um, you do need to have a web server. You can't test it locally unless you're using something like uh, XAMPP or MAMP or some other local testing server. So um, I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. It's a pretty robust system. You can use um, you can do other things besides just like a header. Um, I've used it before for ad content, so if you want to switch um, the kinds of ads that you're using, you can just change it in one file and it changes it across your site. Um, you can use it for taking and checking on each page if a user is logged in. Um, so basically, you can use this for a lot of different things. So hope you guys learned something. Um, hope you guys can use this in your projects. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you with a new video tutorial next week. Thanks for watching.